this is our bait guys so just using a size 8 gonna get to we're gonna hook that through from behind the mouth it's a very very strong part of the bait so that is not gonna fall off you've got a bit of a trail there the way we've cut it so you can see a bit of blood and everything pouring off that so that's gonna be great that's gonna have its own little trail of scent G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad and thanks for tuning in to another episode. Well, today I am out in Port Phillip Bay fishing with my good mate Stephen. And if you can see behind us, we are fishing opposite the heads. So one corner obviously got Point Lonsdale and the other corner we've always got Point Nepean. So we've got one thing on our minds today and we are going to be targeting some gummy sharks. The full moon tomorrow. So basically it means this is a time when that current is very, very slow and often the fishing is very, very slow. So we've picked a point that we're hoping will have the best current flow, give us a really good chance of catching one as we're talking one of my rods is about to get a hit but uh anyway guys that's the plan hopefully we can get into a big fish or two to share with you yeah that's gonna oh yeah 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 here we go Oh, he's gonna watch that anchor rope now, it's coming right for it. Yeah, it's going right for it, mate. Have to be real careful now. Oh, 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 it's rubbing against it. It's rubbing against it. Good job, good job, good job. Nice one, mate. That's all right. I'm trying to, mate. Good job, good job, really good job, mate. I haven't got you. Here we go. You're probably going to go around the boat. Yeah, it's thinking yeah. about it. Just trying to steer it away. Worst case, go around this way and then go around. That's all right. Let's go around, go around, go around, go around the boat. Go over the motor. Yeah. That's it, go there. That's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. Good work out. <laughs> Take back what I said, mate. <laughs> 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 nice to get a really good look at it, mate. Hey, you get it to the surface. <sighs> you get the sheer weight, it's just crazy, isn't it? It's 100 kilos, mate. <laughs> I'm kind of just using my buddy to leverage that weight because that's a big, big, strong power. Here you go. Here you go. Come on, it's in the way. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, it's going for another run. Are you serious? <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is one of the craziest bites. Every time he sees the boat, freaks out. But we want to get a good look at it just to share with you guys because we've seen it a few times, but we'd love to get it up on the surface next to the boat. So we've been filming this for 12 minutes, guys, and add another 10 minutes on top of that. <laughs> He won't have a lot of lift in him now. She won't have a lot of lift in him. It'll be a she. Let's smile, mate. Smile? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a world of loving pain because you, you want these moments with a big fish on, but man, they test you.
You just feel as if when you get to these points, it's just the summer weather, guys. You know, we do get a lot of bycatch being here offshore. Um, but it's all part of it, right? You gotta get through them to hopefully get the fish you want. So, come on, where's the leader? Oh, here we go. Get ready. Come on. Come on and just gently just reel it up, reel it up, reel it up. Just trying to. There it is. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Here's the leader knot. So if she behaves this time, oh, that is a big, big shark. That's a big shark. And oh, <laughs> have a look at it. Have a look at that. Oh. I don't think she's. I don't think she's gonna run. She's spent. Oh. <laughs> You were saying? <laughs> there we go. Have a there you go. There is your view of it now, guys. <gasps> we did it. We did it. Be careful now, mate. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> nice job, mate. Very, very nice. Thank you. That was fun. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Do it in the space of five minutes, mate. Gone on a few huge runs, but you can't be too far away. That's a gummy. Those huge things. If it is, it's a lifetime gummy. <laughs> mate, that thing I had on was huge too, mate. So I reckon two big ones just came straight through at the same time. bit of leader oh, I can see big squall shark oh man it's huge look at the size of this thing guys you're right mate <laughs> oh look at this thing eh how's that corner jaw eh what is that corner jaw 
Well, that's it. Well, I reckon that's what happened with mine. Well done, mate. <laughs> How you feeling? Correct. <laughs> that was at least 100 kilos, mate. Yeah. Okay, let me just run you through the rig that we are using today. So all I've got with me is I've got my Shimano Therese rod. So that is a 30 to 50 pound. That is paired with a Saragossa 8000. It's got 50 pound braid. But you'll find that the other rods that we're using on board today are also a little bit lighter than that. So 15 or 40 pound, 15 to 30 pound, a lot of 6000 and 5000 Saragossas. Now in terms of the rig, what I have done is I've run about two meters of 70 pound fluorocarbon leader as a shock leader. That then joins to a three-way swivel that we have set up here. So you can see there, three-way swivel. And then what we're doing is we're running about 30 centimeters of fluorocarbon trace. That is to a size eight Gamagatsu hook. That's one of the inline ones just to stop your bait from spinning around too much. And then what we also have is quite a long length of much lighter strength. So this is 15 pound, finished with a loop knot. I'm just using a size five sinker at the moment. The idea with this rig is we're getting our sinker down to the bottom. We're keeping our baits up a lot higher. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna minimize the amount of bycatch that we get in terms of your flatfish, like your banjo sharks and your stingrays, even your Port Jackson sharks. We don't wanna be tangling with those today. We wanna be tangling with sharks. So, oh yeah, that's it. Go for it, go for it. That's it. There you go, mate. Yeah, that's all right. Run again. Do you want me to lift your other rod out? No, I should be right. You can see those head shakes now, so. Jeez. What a gentle start, and it's taken off now. That's what I'm thinking, maybe, maybe, maybe. Jeez, for such a gentle pace. It's been a funny fight actually, it's very lethargic to start off with. It's gone on a few big runs. <laughs> oh, look at those head shakes. Look at those big shakes. All that work that you just did. <laughs> it's what we're here for though, it's a good problem to have. Was that a salmon chunk as well, mate, or what was that? Yeah, salmon. Oh, um, man, it's definitely a shark. Probably a seven gilly, guys, but uh, all good fun. Is that a 5,000 size reel on there, or? So, yeah. 40 pound line, 25 to 30 pound rod. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Getting that little bit light on that spool now. Alright. Holy crap, mate. Spend all morning fighting this one. It's funny though how gentle the takes have been. You just expect that the rod is just gonna buckle over and scream, but they've been very gentle takes and then after you had it on for about 30 seconds, it's like they then realize and go for a massive run. Oh, this is a big, powerful fish. Something into the bay, guys. <laughs> Gentle pumping lines, guys. Mm. Got another 400 of those, mate, and uh, right. <laughs> we'll see some leader and some gulla. So your guess is seven gilla? Is that what you got your money on? Seven gilla or a bronzy. Yeah. If it's a gummy, mate, it's, it's a stonker. <laughs> Get the line back in. 
That's it, now you're doing great. Short leaders from the, from the swivel to the hook. Gets the corner jaw hook up all the time. It gives you a chance to get two fifty fish as well. You've done good here, you've definitely got a lot of line back. Come on, give us some colour soon. Every time you've had him at the back of the boat, you've pulled in heaps of line. As soon as he goes here, it's sort of like a stalemate. They just sit, sit there and you know, muscle them. You never adjust your drags when you're fishing, guys. Once it's set, it's set. You'd rather let the fish run and get your line back and tighten your drag during the fight. And then as you're tightening it, it snaps off. Mm. The lighter drags, I think guys are a lot better. I'm not getting a lot of line back, but I've still got the fish. Mm. Don't rush. Let it run when it runs. Let it move when it moves. Let go here. Big thing, guys. Let it run when it runs. Enjoy the fight, that's what I say. Mm. <laughs> well, this is the side you've been getting line back on anyway, so you never know if it's that current that way, I reckon you may... Yeah, because it goes deeper there, mm. and it starts coming back. So now it's starting to come back onto the bank. Mm. Yeah, that's why. It's a good call, that's it, that net shouldn't be in your way though mate, sorry. Oh, my. I was going to say, who you or the shark? No. <laughs> Who's winning at this stage? It's pretty even, I think. It's all about keeping line tension, guys. Now it's going back into the deep current water. These fish know how to use current very well. So you can see it. that's what's good about those multicolor braids you can kind of tell whether you're actually pulling any line in or not you can see this is a very kind of slow burn reels in some the fish takes some going back towards the back of the boat now Not much line's coming up, is it? Oh, yeah. Actually, that looks better. It's going for another big swim way to the right now. It's going to the front of the boat. The power. That's yeah. going way out to this side now. It's a strong, powerful, energetic fish, this one. I don't want to go on too far to the front of the boat. Oh, I can saw colour then. Oh, there he is there. Look at that. That's a big, big, big shark, that one. Woo, have a look at, oh, have a look at the size of this thing. Now, don't get under the boat. There's your leader. Oh, oh, that's huge. That's huge. That is a massive shark. Sorry, bud. That is a huge shark. That's bigger than the one before. Oh, look at this thing. That's a bronzy. Look at this thing. That's a bronzy. <laughs> Whoa. That's a bronzy. <laughs> I think it is. See the tail on it? That was huge. See the tail on it? Yeah, that was big right. bronzy. That is, 
I think that would look pretty epic, actually. The tail. You get on with it? Yeah, 100%. So we know that lead is just not too far away. Uh, took another 50 okay. meters. We're going to tango again. <laughs> we wanted to go snapper fishing this morning. Yeah. <laughs> It's a big fish. I reckon it's much, much bigger than that first one, mate. Yeah, he's a bronzy, I reckon. Just for the size of the tail. I think. The way it shook on top of the surface. Could it be a 30 kilo gummy? <laughs> Well, there are a lot of bonzies at the moment in Port Phillip. Due to a lot of tuna fishermen. Absolutely. A lot of carcasses before they get to the boat ramp. So it is bringing a lot of the sharks in. So I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't a bronzy. But what I saw the size of the tail could be. But oh, we know he's not too far away. I'm gonna get another really good look at this shark, guys, because it's a big, big shark. Plus, it'd be nice for us to see what type of shark it is. Pulling in some line now. I think we're going to see it pretty damn soon. Here we go. There's colour again. Oh. Just going under the boat. Oh, it's a... oh shit, mate. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a bronzy. That's a bronzy, you reckon? Cheers. Sees the boat and it just freaks out and goes for another powerful sort of run. All right. The intense last moments, guys. This is where. Oh, yeah. He's underneath the boat. Oh, yeah. That's a big, big shark. That is a big shark. I'm hoping you can see that clearly, guys. It will surface in a oh, second. Maybe this, uh, ah, that's a bronze, tile of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a really good look at it in a second. I may freak out and go for another run, so let's just see. There she comes up. Sorry, mate, on there. You can see leader now, so there's our leader knot. That shark is just about to surface. There we go. Have a look at the size of this thing, guys. No, it's, no, it's a seven giller. Oh, that's a big seven giller, though, man. Oh, tail wrap, tail wrap. <laughs> the power on these things is insane. Well, that's a wrap, everyone, and thanks for watching. Pretty short session in the end, so where we are now, that southerly breeze has really kicked up. We've got some big swells coming through, so it's time to get off the water. But you know what? In a couple of hours, we actually had quite a lot of fun tangling with those seven gilla sharks. Now, it wasn't our target species. Obviously, we were trying to get onto the gummy sharks. But you know what? It's a lot of fun and excitement when you're dealing with a fish that, and that powerful and you manage to get it to the boat. And you're just in a little bit of awe of how big that sharks actually were. And that was a lot of fun putting our gear through the test and always an enjoyable moment on the water. Anyway, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to go and check out our members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member. And until I see you guys on the water next time, good fishing, everyone.